हैं What is fear? No, seriously though, like, what is it? I know you might be afraid of roaches, spiders, heights, chocolate, whatever, what, whatever you have that you're afraid of. But what exactly is fear? So I really want to get in your face today because we need to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation about what fear is. And from my understanding and my experiences, I can really tell y'all that fear comes from a place of not walking in your truth and not walking down the path that was already set for you. You ever had people tell you what you should be, where you should go, how you should dress, and you just get that feeling and it doesn't feel right, like it doesn't settle right with you, like inside, you know, it's like, some people experience it as butterflies or like some people see it as anxiety or whatever that feeling is for you and it doesn't feel right. That's fear. Meaning that you're not following the path that is set for you. You're not doing those things that are set for you. You're trying to live a life for people who may want the best for you, but doesn't necessarily understand your path. And so you get this nervousness because the inside, your spirit, your spirit is telling you, you're not going down the right path. What are you doing? This isn't right. Because let me tell you, when you're going down the right path, things just align for you. It's like, like seriously, you go the right way. Things just line up in a way that you just don't understand, but it's all good. You know, and if you've experienced that before, then you know. And you want to be able to experience that over and over and over again. But that really only happens when you overcome that fear. When you overcome that, that what is what other people want for you. When you experience what it is that you want for yourself and what is lined up for you. Because that is a true understanding of who you are and where you should be. So when you have these feelings of uncomfortability, it's like... You should know. You should say danger, stranger danger. Like this is, this is not for me. Like the alarm is going off. Oh, <laughs> see that wasn't fear. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm back. So, like I was saying before, um, fear. Right. We we now understand that it comes from a place of going down the wrong path. What I want to tell you all today is that you can overcome that. It's something that you can easily overcome. And that is by choosing yourself, choosing your happiness, walking in your truth and what you're supposed to be. If you want to be a photographer, be a photographer. If you want to be a lawyer, be a lawyer. If you want to jump out of planes for a living, jump out of those planes. Jump out of them. Because at the end of the day, if it's your path and your journey, that's what you're going to do. But if you try to do anything else and fit anybody else's mold, you're going to be afraid. You're going to have those fears. Now, I don't want you to get that confused with excitement because when you start anything new, you can always be excited. But you're not afraid of it. You go for it. You enjoy it because you know that it's on your path. It's your journey. It really is your journey. And so I encourage you to try that. At the time that I'm shooting this video, I'm 28. I had to think about it. I am 28. And it took me a long time to realize this. And I'm just starting to walk into that. And I want to help other people walk into that as well. Do what you got to do and stop making excuses because at the end of the day, you can only live for yourself and you can't do it fearfully. You must walk down your own path, your own journey. With all of that being said, I just want to tell you all, be bold and shine bright in every sense of the words. Be bold and shine bright. Say it with me one more time. Be bold and shine bright. That's all you got to do, baby. <laughs>
fresh outfit. Yeah. Can you have both? 